Hi, this is Bruce with Unsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications, share me with a friend and on social media. So today we're talking about a body fat scale from Rafi. This is the S3000. What are we going to do? We're going to open this box. We're going to see what's inside. We're going to check this puppy out. So don't touch that dial. Stay right here as we check out the Rafi S3000 body fat scale. Okay, people, now it's time for another edition of What's in the Box? What's in the Box? All right, so we have the Rafi Smart Body Fat Scale S3001. Shape your body with data. Cue the music, Phil. We have batteries. Nicely packed to protect the scale. An instruction manual. All right, look at that like a glass top. The numbers are up here. The logo's right there. Let's look at the bottom. We have some decent rubber feet on it. The battery compartment. Looks like a reset button. All right, so this is a good thing that I need in my life now. Let's look at the manual. Android iOS QR code for the application. So let's see if this will help. So what did we get in the box? All right, so what did we get in the box? We got the instruction manual, three AAA batteries, and the Rafi digital scale, which also has an application. So we're gonna go through and set up the application and see how this puppy works. All right, now it's time to put the batteries in. Okay, so this is cool. You can see you have your weight. This is in kilograms right now, and they have the battery life. Now well, it's in kilograms, so we want it not to be in kilograms. All right, so this button here on the back right here switches it from kilograms to pounds. Very cool. You can also see on here, as you see here, it's cleared now. So we're putting a little pressure on it. And now it goes and clears out. But you can see here the battery life, a Bluetooth signal, and then it's now in pounds. All right, so now we're gonna find the application. Okay, so we're gonna go to the App Store. And we're gonna look for Okay, okay, international. And there it is. All right, so once we're in okay, okay, international, they give you a brief preview. So we're going to install it. It's a small application, 18.2 megabytes. And open it. So we're going to change everything to apparently British. Alright, we're going to 
create ourselves a nickname. Go through and do our date of birth. According to your physical information, your weight range is calculated by using the BMI. All right, so I am not close to that. No, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Now you can see why I need a scale that tells me All right. So I think uh we're in the app. So now it's time to bind our Bluetooth to our scale. So let's do that. All right, so there's our scale. And it's found it. We're in it bind. We have Fat Boy. So now I need to stand on the scale. So here we go, first test. All right, there are me standing on the scale, and there are my results. And that's very embarrassing. So weight, 246 pounds. BMI, 234 pounds, 0.5. Percentage of fat, 34%. 69% muscle. Water is low. Obese. Bone mass. Body age, 66. And we're going to do this for a few days now to see if there's any weight loss on my end and or what. And we'll be able to get some trending records. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right, scale. Here we go. Let's. Let's dance. Not an improvement. Yesterday was a bad day. All right, so there we go. Now we should have enough data in here to take a look of how it all correlates. That's been a few days. I would never suggest anybody weighs themselves every day personally. Your results are better. You don't get the fluctuation in your life. And now we're gonna look at the data. The data, if you're looking at the data and if you're weighing yourself every single day, then of course you'll get a lot of data, but the fluctuation won't be all that great. But if you're weighing yourself once, twice a week, along with weighing yourself, you know, consistently trying to maintain the same time to weigh yourself every day, the same day, the same time every week, while maintaining exercise and proper food, you should see some differences. But since we're doing this over a course of a week, you may not see that much of a dramatic change. But we will see data. So the first thing we see on our data is there is a bit of change. I started at 245.6. I have steadily decreased over time which is good not dramatic just by changing um, 
my diet. Now I have horrible sleep patterns, horrible work patterns, probably everything that you're not supposed to do uh, is the story of my life. Now let's look at our BMI. Now the BMI, of course, hasn't really changed that much because it's only been over a course of the week, but you can see that it gives us a recording of our BMI. And even ever so slightly, the BMI has changed. And ever so slightly, the fat sort of changed. It actually looks like it went down a couple micro points. Muscle percentage went up a couple micro points. So water, water hasn't really done much. I need to, and I've been trying to drink more water, but erythrol fat hasn't changed all that much. And I don't expect it to, not in a matter of a week's time. Bone mass, bone density, metabol metabolism has actually decreased. And that's the last one. If you follow the plan and you rate, weighed yourself on a consistent weekly basis, once, twice a week, I think these results just in this few days here would definitely uh, motivate you. They definitely motivate me. Now I did read some stuff about the apps on people who were having disconnection problems with the scale. I have not had those experiences with this. No disconnection issues at this point in time. The scale itself appears to be accurate. So when I went to the doctor right before doing this video, my weight was 245 point something. Uh, I think it was a little bit up, not 0.6, but like 0.8. So the scale's weight seems to be, ac it appears to be very accurate. All right, so now you've got to see the most embarrassing video I've ever made. Yes, I have a weight issue, and this scale is helping motivate me to fix that weight issue. Um, a lot of different reasons why people get weight issues. Um, I hurt myself. Uh, where I tore an abdominal muscle and that did mess me up a long time ago and it was never easy just to get back to where I was. Uh, but in turn, um, it's good to have the motivation to try to lose the weight and to understand what your body is doing. Now, I made a few mistakes when I was recording this video uh, with this scale. The first mistake I made is you should have no socks on when you're standing on the scale so that it can get an accurate reading for every time you weigh yourself. Um, on top of that, the application, I read over through it, I had had no issues with the application since installing it. Um, the application works exactly as it's intended to do. The Bluetooth connects to the scale, the scale then connects to the phone, and then the data is uploaded to the application. So I was curious about my weight compared to what the scale was saying. Luckily for me, or unlucky, depends on how you look at it, I had to go back to the doctor. When I went to the doctor, I had them weigh me on their scale, which is calibrated regularly. So the weight on this scale and the weight that I was at the doctor were within a couple of ounces. So I'm impressed with the accuracy of the scale. I'm impressed with the accuracy of the information that is coming up. I did have uh, my professional look at that and he was very impressed with the information there and told me to stay motivated and keep going. So if you're interested in the Rafi S300 scale, I put a link below where you can find it along with all the specs and details. My name is Bruce with Hunsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications, share me with a friend and on social media. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I will see you soon. Emo, dance.